Right, hey friends, it's freezing outside, so I thought we would do a nice inside tutorial for this week's video. Someone asked me a few weeks ago how I cut video to the beat of a song, any piece of music using Final Cut Pro, so I thought it was great. Uh, opportunity to do a quick video to show them how to do it. So that's what we're doing this week. So let's not mess around. Let's get straight into it. So if we go over to my screen, then what I've got is I've got Final Cut open. I've thrown some random B-roll into a new project and I've got my timeline here. So the aim of the game here is to create some sort of video where the cuts of the video go in time with the music. So first things first, there's two different ways to do this. There's two ways that tend to work for me when I do this. First way works really well with normal footage. The second way works a little bit better if you're dealing with sort of slow motion footage and you need to be changing the pace of the video. So we'll start with the simple one, okay? So first things first, we're gonna go over to our solids and we're gonna create a new custom solid and we're gonna drop that into the timeline. Then we're gonna go into our media browser where I've got a song somewhere here where are we there we go got this song and we're going to drop the song underneath there so then if we pull our custom layer out to the length of the song like so and then what we're going to do right is we're going to play it and we're going to hold down command and then as we play whenever i think there's a good place for a cut i'm going to do command b and that is going to put a cut into this custom layer so it's probably easier to show you than it is to explain it so i'm just going to play this now and that's what we're going to do Okay, Command B, Command B, and you see what I'm doing, and you can get creative with this. You don't always have to do it on the beat. In fact, sometimes it's better if you don't. Keeps it interesting. On the snare there, on the bass. Anyway, that is probably enough of that. So now what we have got is we've got this black custom layer with our song underneath and it's cut into lots of short segments like so. All right, so if we now go into our footage again, we can sort of have a look at what we've got here. And this is just a slider project. You'll be seeing more of this in a future video. Uh, I just thought it seemed like some nice footage that we could use. I'm gonna just change this view here. Um, so we want some sort of, so what we're going to do right is we're going to find a clip that we like the look of, say this one will do, we're going to set our in and out point, the out point doesn't really matter, so we can use the I and the O keys, so if I click in, it's going to set an in point on the I key, and then I can scroll along and click O and it's set that out point. Now, if I drag this clip over the top of my custom solid here and I let go, it's gonna ask me what I wanna do with it. And if I say replace from start, then it's now put that onto there, okay? So now we can choose some other clips that we like the look of. Um, Yeah, that one looks nice, we'll just go in. Now obviously this is gonna be really rough, rough as ours is. But if you're doing it, then you can take a little bit more time and you can see the sort of process that I'm doing, but it's a good place to start. So we say replace from start, then we can find another clip that we like the look of. Yeah, that looks like a nice one in, is that an out point? The out point isn't important because the out point, when you drag it over like this, oops, 
drag it on there. It's only really taking into account the start point, the end point it's going to set itself based on the length of that custom solid that we're replacing. And already you can probably see here, cut, cut, nice. So I'm just going to keep going. Anyway, you get the idea. Great, so that is way number one in order to do this. However, if you're dealing with slow motion clips where you wanna set the time of the clip once you've got it in the timeline, this goes completely wrong because if we just go back to my screen, look, this is beautiful. It goes to the beat, it's just the way I want it. Now if I put it into slow motion, I select that clip and I come here and I say automatic speed. This was shot at uh, 120 frames, I think we shot this at. So what happens is now that's in slow motion, but it's completely thrown my timing off. So this way only works if the footage that you're putting in is at the speed that you want to be playing it back. If you're using slow motion footage, or if you just want a bit more flexibility and you don't want to have to decide what your cuts are straight away, then this is where option two comes in really helpful. So I'm going to show you that now. So if we just come back into this project, uh, I'm just going to do file new project here. So we'll start again, uh, and this time what I'm going to do um, is I'm still going to start with some normal footage, uh, just being indecisive now. Right, that'll do. Drag that into the timeline. Then I'm still going to drop my music down here. Okay, and there you go, we're starting to make something. This way, you're just doing things a little bit more freestyle, but what we're going to use is we're going to use markers, which is a little handy tool in Final Cut Pro, so that you know kind of where you want the cuts to be, and then you're going to manually put the clips in. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're, we've got this track selected, and we're going to play, and when we click M, you can see it puts a blue marker on the track there. See these blue markers that I'm adding? Every time I press M, it puts a marker. So I'm gonna Command Z all of them. And we're gonna go back to the beginning. And just like we did with the Command B on the custom solid layer on the previous approach, this time we're just gonna press M where we think we might wanna cut. So let's play. volume down so you can get as creative as you want as this you can see here I'm not putting it on every beat of the bar I'm not putting it on every bass drum or every snare hit I'm just kind of feeling the music man and just going with what feels good um, and a lot of people will say that when you're editing stuff it's actually quite predictable if you put your cuts on the beat then people get quite bored quite quickly so try and mix it up this is just a tool, use it however you want. Okay, so now we've got our cuts, what we can do is we can zoom in a little bit. Got this first clip, I mean, I don't know if it's any good, but we'll use it anyway. And then we're just dragging out to sort of where our markers are. Now you can get quite specific about where those cuts are, all right? But generally, 
I mean, I'm zoomed in a lot there. As long as you get it pretty close, you're gonna be all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw some more footage down onto the timeline. And then once I've got it in, I'm just gonna sort of manually do it. And I tend to do this quite a lot. However, you see the beauty of this is if I now say I wanna play this clip in slow motion, so I go to the time here and I set automatic speed, then it throws it right out. But now I can actually just trim this down to what I want. Like so. Again, same with this second clip. Maybe I want all of this B-roll sequence to be in slow motion. So I can just set it. I know where I want my cuts to be before I've even started. So again, this one, maybe this one I'll keep fast because it's got some nice movement in. Um, there you go, that was a nice bit I used last time. Zoom in again. Find that marker that I want. That was another bit I used, so put that in. That's really long. Or you can actually put the marker here and you can do Command B and then just delete the bit you don't need. So I'm, you know, I'm using the mar uh, I'm using the edges of the clips like this, dragging, grab that, drag it in. But you don't have to do it like that. Any of the sort of tools that you need. So, you know, I could put the marker there, Command B, cut that clip right in the chapter. And there you go. And you can keep going and going and going. But let's just play that back quickly. Slow motion, nice. Beautiful, so you get the idea. So that's it, two quick ways to cut your video to the beat of a song. Hopefully that is helpful to you. Certainly when I figured that out, it reduced my time spent editing greatly. Um, so yeah, if there's another way, that you think that you can do this, which is better than mine, then please let me know in the comments. I'm always up for hearing your ways of doing things. Um, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I do lots of videos like this to do with photography, filmmaking, cameras, gear reviews, all that sort of geekery really. So if you like that sort of stuff, subscribe to my channel. You'll get notified when I next upload a video. And other than that, that is everything for this week and probably my last video before Christmas. So have a wonderful Christmas and I will see you next year for more camera japes and fun. See ya!